I thought it was a tragic story. I felt for the family. I felt for basically every black man in America. Knowing that it could have been me as another black man, that definitely crossed my mind. It was a difficult story overall, as it would be, I believe, for well, hopefully everybody else. But in the end, as a journalist, you are trained to basically cover any situation, every everything that's possible. And when you get that phone call to go cover that story, you go cover that story. My name is Vernon Bryant. I'm a senior visual journalist at the Dallas Morning News. It all started really by accident. My mom was a teacher, and I basically couldn't have a shortened senior year, so I took an extra photography class, ended up loving it, got into journalism, fell in love with journalism, pursued it in college, and I've been doing it ever since. I describe myself as a storyteller. I like to tell stories no matter what the subject is. I really like to tell stories, and I really like to meet different people. The fact that I get to meet people and hear a different side of a story, I welcome and I love it. Botham Jean was a 26-year-old black man who was born in St. Lucia. He moved to Dallas. He was an accountant here. He was a few blocks away from the Dallas Police Department. There was an off-duty officer named Amber Geiger who was coming home. She thought she was coming home to her apartment. She opened up the door. It was the wrong floor. And she shot Botham Jean, who was in his chair, eating ice cream. Well, we knew we wanted to cover the funeral in St. Lucia, and we had been working on gaining access to have permission to cover the funeral with the family. And after gaining that access, we went ahead and rushed to St. Lucia, me and the reporter. I wasn't trying to think about what would be widely seen at the time. I was just trying to make sure that I could tell the story of his days of being put to rest in St. Lucia, back at his home, with his community, with his people as well. At both of John's funeral, shortly after the, the service, they were getting ready to take Botham Jean to his rest, final resting place, uh, Seaside in St. Lucia. I positioned myself over at the exit, and I wanted to make sure I could get in a respectful spot that was close, that could still bring the viewer into the, the situation that was going on. It was, it was beautiful to see the community come out and pay their respects to Botham on his final resting day. I've covered many protests in past years and never had experienced tear gas before. Uh, this year with the George Floyd protest, there were tear gas being administered at the time. When I took that photo of the man holding the sign, actually that was shortly after getting hit by tear gas. And I had walked away from the, the middle of the situation and I saw him just, just sitting there quietly, not saying anything, but he also had tears coming down his face. I wanted to see his, his sign as well. And I walked up to him, took pictures. Here, here's my, my problem. The importance of the story always outweighs however I feel. Because it's important to know what I'm covering. When the reader views it in the newspaper, they don't know what I'm feeling. They don't know if I'm a black man, a white man, or anything. I want them to see something and be informed and learn something. The newspaper and journalism in general helps inform people about different things within their communities, different topics that are going on within the city, and helps them to be informative about deep issues, simple issues, all types of issues. I hope the viewer will always see a photo of mine or my colleagues and be more informed about either the subject or the story, as well as try to see something different and something new. Think local journalism is all about headlines. Think again. Vernon Bryant, photographer, the Dallas Morning News, real local journalism.